Yo, what's going on guys? It is time for another puzzle video. And today, today I'm uh, doing a puzzle from a company called InGood. And I don't know if it's supposed to be say InGood or InGood, because there's four O's in good. <laughs> um, for those of you that I've been uh, getting to know a little bit in the Jigsaw Puzzle group on Facebook, I posted a picture of all four of these and asked you guys which one I should do next. And it was pretty, uh, uh, Pretty apparent that everybody wanted this one. Um, the only thing that was a little bit uh, hard for me to figure out how I was gonna do this one is because my setup, it's difficult to do a vertical puzzle versus a horizontal puzzle, which were the other three choices here. Uh, but I think I got it figured out. So, um, yeah, so I think I got that all figured out. Um, Thank you to InGood again for sending all four of these puzzles out to me. I wasn't really expecting four, so I appreciate that. Uh, very thankful. I will do a video eventually on all four of the puzzles, um, but I wanted to at least get started with one of them right away. So let's just go ahead and check this out. Now the last InGood puzzle I did, I think it was like a year or a year and a half ago. That one was uh, wooden. So, this one does not say that it is wooden, so I guess I'll find out here in just a second if it is. One thing that's unique about these puzzles is the box is like a drawer. Yep. And it does appear that these are wooden again. And one plus side compared to the last time. So one of the things I didn't really care too much for the last and good puzzle I did, and I'm glad to see they made a change, was that the entire puzzle was assembled and then it was like in little square sections inside of the bag. So I had to disassemble the entire puzzle before I could assemble it. Um, so let's take a look at the uh, pieces here. All right, and you'll see that the bag is kind of like this little, uh, um, mesh type material, something like you might see a curtain made out of, but it's kind of nice. It's nicer than just the uh, typical plastic bag that you end up throwing away because this could be reusable to put back into. Um, another thing that is unique to these puzzles is that you'll see on the back, they have uh, letters of the alphabet. And I guess this is supposed to be to assist you if you're having difficulty that um, what it looks like on the back is it's grids of the same letter repeated. So for instance, this one says A, 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 A all over it. So that whole section, wherever that is on the puzzle, all the A's will go together, all the, uh, the B's will go together uh, and so on. They are wooden pieces again, which is a kind of a unique thing. The quality of the print on the face of the uh, puzzle pieces is really nice. Um, so yeah, so there's not a whole lot more to say about it other than it looks like a really interesting piece of artwork. So I think that that will be, uh, make it a little bit more fun, but I think it's going to also prove some, to be some challenges cause there's so much repetitive stuff. There's lots of books here. Um, but yeah, so this is what the cover looks like. Let's see what else is in the box though. There's still a few other items in here. All right, looks like they're pushing their social media. And looks like we've got a nice full size poster here. Let's see. Yep, it's gonna fit. So this isn't gonna be able to fit in the view of the camera, I don't think, but you can see here full size version of the puzzle. So that's gonna be very helpful. I'm gonna probably have to do is, I'll probably hang this up somewhere out of view of the cameras because it's so big. But um, yeah, let's see. Now it looks like obviously there's a little bit of puzzle dust. Um, so I'll get that cleaned up after I start sorting. Um, I'm gonna do the normal here and I'm gonna pretty much start sorting into my trays 
Uh, I don't use any of the fancy puzzle shaped trays or anything like that. What I actually use are these plastic lunch trays. They're super cheap on Amazon. Um, just cause I feel like you can put more pieces on them and it's easier. And then even once you fill it up with pieces, you can kind of like, you can stack these on top of each other. Uh, and that's generally what I do. So depending on how I separate it, sometimes I separate by piece shape, by color. Um, it just it varies per puzzle. So got my board, my trays ready. Let me get these set over here and I'm gonna get to sorting so I can get to assembling. Oh, and I did forget to mention, it's a 1,000 piece puzzle. All four of these are 1,000 piece puzzles. All right. to the last couple pieces. Yeah. 
and one more to go. All right. Let's see if we can get this rotated in for the uh, final view there. There we go. And one thing that's kind of nice about this puzzle is you can actually lift it up. I don't think it's going to fit in the whole picture there, but you can see. Um, and that is because it's made out of wood, which is really cool. So it's super, super strong. Uh, the quality of the graphics, the, the uh, print, the print is really, really nice quality. And then just, you know, even just to the touch, it's very smooth. It's got a nice finish on it. So I really enjoyed this puzzle, same as uh, the last end good puzzle I did. Again, you can check that one out up there if you have not already seen that one. Uh, thanks again to InGood for sending me this puzzle along with the other three puzzles they sent, which I will get to doing a video on each of those as well. Um, if you guys are interested in picking up this puzzle or any InGood puzzle, I do have a link in the description below. Um, and let me know uh, what you guys think about this puzzle. Leave me a comment below. Um, and if you've checked out any of my other videos, uh, could use some comments on those too. <laughs> um, with that being said, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe. You can hit the, uh, bell over there to make sure that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Later.